Hi everyone. You might have already heard about Grok AI and you might have already used it as well. And that's pretty great and Elon Musk has already told us that Grok AI is the smartest AI LLM that we have right now. So in this video I'm going to uh, create a full stack application with Grok AI. So the stack that consists of Java Spring Boot as the backend and React JS as the front end and I'll be using MongoDB and MySQL for creating this whole application. So and by the way this is a microservice architecture so where we will be using two microservices one for authentication and this authentication service uh, this is where we will be using MySQL as the DB and for the task Okay, by the way, let me uh, tell you what the application is. So this is just like a spin-off of uh, Jira where you can create tasks and you can just manage it to do in progress or done, blocked. So that is the basic uh, functionalities of this app. So uh, I'll be giving those prompt and we'll be using uh, Java Spring Boot and uh, React.js, uh, MongoDB, MySQL, and all those services and let's see if we can create a full stack application just using Grok AI. Do is just type the prompt that you want. Just give it uh, and give as many details as possible regarding the app and just uh, uh, just give that. That's the first thing that you have to do. Then it will give you us a whole lot of things like how to do things, a lot of different informations. So now I'll ask to give it a detailed code about what I want. And let's see if it can give me the full code. Yeah, uh, I forgot to add this uh, login page and load login functionality. So let me quickly add that, uh, give that prompt and get that code as well. And yeah, kind of a, I forgot to give this user registration as well. So once this is done, let me give user registration. So I, I would want this user registration where we don't have a different page for that. So, so these are the small things that you have to be very clear about what you would be giving in the prompt. Anyways, I've given that. So it has given me a lot of different codes. Now what I'll do is I'll just copy all these codes and I'll, I'll just show you. So this is the friend and I'll just use uh, Visual Studio code for creating those React repo. I'll be using this wheat to create those packages and things like that. And I'll be using uh, IntelliJ for this one. So I've copy pasted pretty much all codes and um, there is some issues that I'm facing with the register and login. It isn't working. So let me see what it does. So I'll go to the, it is most probably with the auth service issue so i'll just copy all these traces all these errors and i'll just paste it in the grok and let's see what it gives so so this is uh, us awesome. like this is the microservice that we're using for authentication so i don't know what exactly is the issue but it is a no class found error so let me paste it grok yeah I'll just leave that and enter. It's taking some time. Let, let it give me and I'll try to fix in between. Well, it seems like uh, the issue is with some versions of the uh, library that we're using. So we have to update that and uh, seems like it is going to give me the code and it will give me this poem. It's some, so it is giving me all the details why it why cause what cause the root cause of this issue so yeah i was using java 17 i believe so that might be the reason why it, so i'll uh, quickly swap this with uh, the one that i have in the or uh, in the ledger my workspace let me see uh, so these are the files so, okay so we have to update this in both the services in the task service as well and is there any other files well yes so i have updated that and let me see if it is working so this is my uh, task planner service and that's running 
Oh, uh, so I have given all my credentials from MongoDB. So that's I'm using MongoDB Atlas. So it's this online URL. And yeah, I've updated that in the auth service as well. So let me see if it is working. By the way, this is yeah, this is the collection. Well, yeah. So these are the few username that I tried creating, and uh, Chrome just saved it. Well, uh, that's working. So we were able to log in. Um, uh, the UI is pretty bad. I, I'm not kind of impressed. Yes, you have to peek. Let me see if the logout button is working. Well, that's working. Uh, let me try to log into some other account. Yeah, that's also working. Let me create a task quick. Uh, what should it be? Maybe edit video. Then choose a deed. I'll choose a file as well. So let me choose some images or something. I don't have any PDFs, I believe, as of now. I mean, small PDFs create. Well, I was able to create the task as well. Now, currently, it is not started. Yes, that's ideally what it should behave like. And we have a delete button as well. And uh, once clicking it, it has all the details here. Yeah, the image is not loading. So I was expecting the image to, I mean, if there was a way to just view the image, well, that's not there. Now I'll have to drag this, okay. Okay, there is some issues with this drag and drop. Okay, the delete button is working fine, but the drag is not working. Let me try again. So it is getting so yeah, there is kind of some issues with the drag and drop. So it is mostly going to be some kind of issues in the UI, I believe. So let me try with some other login details. Let me log into that. Okay. The task is there, so which means it is getting saved in the DB. So all those part is working fine. So all those features are working. So this this is most probably some issues with the UI. So this is not working. Okay, let's let's go and let's tell the Grok AI that it didn't work. And uh, so there's a lot of traces. So I was kind of. Mm. and after spending some time I was getting okay somehow I finally fixed all the issues that I had I had some issues in the auth service then I had some issues in the um, UI drag drop so I have iterated through a lot and finally the thing is working the application is working it's up and running so all the services are up the UI is up and we're running so let me log into the application first. No, let me register it to the first time. So Castro, some password test, then register. Well, I've successfully registered. Now let me log in. Those things should work because I've already tested. Well, that worked. Let me save that and well, the UI is kind of expected, very basic. I'll log out and I'll see if it can log into other uses or which I've already no I'll create I'll try logging to mine okay now let me create a task oh mobile app Dave and some uh, descriptions and dates and something like that uh, then what Yeah, I'll upload. Uh, I'll I'll highlight some images as well. Just create. Yeah, well, 
that worked and yeah it already worked right so now let's see if it can drag no before that so let me drag no let me log out let me log out and let me sign in with some other users that have already created and let's see well the created task is not there which means the backend is kind of working now let me go back to some other user and see what is happening okay fine uh, there might be some issues with that user or it might not got registered yeah this is some of oh, this is an earlier task that i've created now let's log in back to the main account the guest to yeah well that's working fine so all those functionalities are working so we left with this drag and drop all of the functionalities were working earlier as well so i have fits the issue sorry grok actually fits the issue and give me the code and i have uh pasted it into my editor and uh, well things are sorted out now all the basic features are working fine well that's great well i think that was a great application uh, i just give very few prompts and the total length of the prompt is kind of less than 300 words maybe less than 200 words it is and i was able to create a full stack application with spring boot as backend and that's a microservice where we have an out service and then we have a task service where task planning is happening and we used mysql and we used mongodb and all those things and well and react for friend and as well so this was a great experience and this is how we can create anything that you want using ai and especially grok ai it is great and we it is kind of free for these days and we can leverage it making application and whatever you want to do and regarding the ui part um even i'm not concerned because i haven't given a lot of prompt to improve the ui i was just expecting grok ai to give me something futuristic but it didn't so the thing is that you have to uh, in your prompt you have to make sure that you give it precise and clear if you if you want a good looking ui in the process of creating this application uh, i've encountered some problems like uh, there was an issue with the auth service so i just uh, took the uh, traces trace logs in the console and i just uh, pasted it into groke and i asked to find what was the issue and it was an issue that was uh, like of a version issue in the pom xml with the version of char that we were using and it gave me an updated pom and uh, update uh, updated classes that has to be changed i just copy pasted those and well that worked for auth service and for the ui part the drag and drop wasn't working for me so i have to um spend some time into getting that right even after uh, iterating many times i was kind of feeling stuck and then it somehow managed to give me a working app and yes the image part and the document part those things are not working so we can make it work so the thing is that you have to spend more time into it and give proper prompts so that's all about this video so we have successfully created a full stack application with a microservice architecture with two microservices and a great uh, good friend in and all those things so i hope you guys like this video and let me know how do you feel about the video and um uh, subscribe for more yeah that's it bye